This is the third video in the series on lipid and lipoprotein processing. Today let's discuss the formation of LDL and HDL. In the previous video we left off with a newly formed LDL molecule. Notice that the apoprotein for LDL is ApoB100. Most body cells have receptors for ApoB100 that allow the LDL to attach to and enter cells. LDL entry occurs by a process known as receptor-mediated endocytosis. Once inside the cell, the cholesterol from LDL can be used in making plasma membranes, for myelin surrounding neurons, and for the synthesis of steroid hormones, such as cortisol, aldosterone, estrogen, and testosterone. Excess cholesterol is added to the free cholesterol pool located inside the cell. When LDL cholesterol is high in the blood, body cells also may receive excess amounts of cholesterol. Luckily, the body has a way to remove this excess cholesterol. A protein called ApoA1 is floating around in the plasma and is produced by the liver and small intestines. On body cells, there is a receptor called ATP binding cassette, or ABCA1. This receptor will bind to ApoA1. Doing this will allow ApoA1 to remove some cholesterol from the free pool inside the cell. The ApoA1 also picks up some phospholipids from cell membranes and then becomes what is called a nascent HDL. LCAT, or lecithin cholesterol acyltransferase, is an enzyme produced by the liver and is located in the plasma. LCAT acts on free cholesterol in the nascent HDL and converts it into a sterified cholesterol. This action removes exposed hydroxyl groups to make a more hydrophobic form of cholesterol called a cholesterol ester. Without the hydroxyl groups, the esterified cholesterol will fall to the center of the nascent HDL to form a mature, larger spherical HDL. CETP, or cholesterol ester transfer protein, allows HDL and VLDL to swap triglycerides and cholesterol esters. Inhibitors of CETP have been developed and lead to increased HDL levels and lower LDL levels. However, several medications in this class have failed to produce clinically positive cardiovascular outcomes. Anisotrapib was showing some promise, but in October of 2017, Merck decided that the clinical profile of anisotrapib does not support regulatory filings and decided to cut its losses and move on. Ultimately, HDL travels to the liver where the cholesterol esters from the HDL can be utilized by the liver to make bile. Here now is a summary of the exogenous chylomicron pathway the endogenous VLDL pathway, and the formation of HDL. Thanks for watching.